Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Akash Ganguly and welcome to another video. My topic is training pathway of oral and maxillofacial surgery in different parts of the globe. Whatever I will be discussing in this video today is not based upon my opinion. It is based on an article by Sanjeev Kumar published in the Journal of Maxillofacial and Oral Surgery in 2017. Due to historical reasons, many different training pathways exist in various parts of the globe in the field of oral and maxillofacial surgery. However, the MDS curriculum dictated by the DCI in India has not conformed to the requirements of this specialty as practiced today. In 2008, Laskin gave the classification of the four basic systems of training pathways in oral and maxillofacial surgery in various parts of the globe. These are as follows. First, countries which require only a dental degree. Second, countries which require both a medical as well as a dental degree. Third, countries which require a medical degree with minimal or no dental degree. And finally, countries which require both medical and dental education but not necessarily a degree. The first pathway, that is countries which require only dental degree like India, I will be discussing about this pathway in one of my subsequent videos. Today I will be discussing about the rest three pathways. To begin with, First, the countries which require both a medical and a dental degree. In this, we have UK, United Kingdom. Well, the consultants in the UK initially take up a dental degree followed by a medical degree. For those with a dental as a primary degree, the training pathway in the UK is approximately for 18 years. The training pathway is as follows. Five years as a dental undergraduate is followed by two years of general dental training, that is core training one, during which membership in dental surgery, MFDS, of one of the Royal Surgical Colleges is normally taken. This is followed by three to five years as a medical undergraduate, two years of medical foundation and one to two years of core surgical training that is core training two a minimum of 12 months of core surgical training and a pass in MRCS examination is required to progress to five years of speciality training as a specialist registrar and exist FRCS OMFS examination is taken towards completion of specialist training this successful RITA that is Record of In-Training Assessment or ARCP Annual Review of Competence Progression Outcomes allows the specialist registrar to be awarded a certificate of completion of training in OMFS and therefore be eligible for appointment as a consultant in the specialty. A fellowship in cleft lip and palate or head and neck surgery is also an additional requirement for the practitioners practicing OMFS in UK. Now coming to Northwest Europe. In mainland Europe, most of the countries now require both a medical as well as a dental degree. As an example, let's take up Germany. In Germany, only medical and dental graduates can apply for the OMFS program. Six years of medical studies as well as five years of dental studies allows the candidate to gain the specialist competencies in the field of oral and maxillofacial surgery on completion of at least two years of basic continuing training followed by three years of specialist continuing surgical training. After completion of the five years, the exit examination is taken to become certified as a national medical specialist. 
coming to Australia and New Zealand, like the above two examples of UK and Germany, Australia and New Zealand also require a medical as well as a dental degree. In addition, a full year of surgery in general must be completed prior to the commencement of OMFS training. A minimum of four years of continuous training in accredited course is required to obtain the Royal Australian College of Dental Surgeons Fellowship in Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Please. Now coming to the third category, that is countries that require only a medical degree with minimal or no dental degree, we have France. In France, OMFS is entitled Stomatology and Maxillofacial Surgery. It is a specialty founded on a medical degree only and separated from dentistry or odontology. To obtain a degree in maxillofacial surgery and stomatology, a candidate should have completed 8 years of medical degree followed by 5 years of specialty training in OMFS. This includes training in general and trauma surgery for 1 year, in OMFS for 3 years and in related surgical specialties like ENT, vascular surgery, neurosurgery, for two years. Now, after the training, the trainees must work as fellows for one to four years in university or public hospitals. The first year of OMFS fellowship in France is obligatory to obtain the official title of maxillofacial surgeon. Coming to Spain. In Spain, the oral and maxillofacial surgeon does five years of specialty training after six years of medical studies. This is a different course than those that is taught in the dental institutions, which is named as oral surgery. The qualification of specialist in OMFS in Spain is obtained through the medical intern and resident examination and a training system. Now, finally, coming to the countries that require a combination of dental and medical education but not degree based, we have China. In China, the higher education system of stomatology is divided into three different levels first, the five year, the seven year, and the eight year undergraduate education system. The five year education system in this, the students of the system are awarded a bachelor degree. The in a seven-year education system, the students are awarded the degree of Master of Stomatological Medicine after graduation. In the eight-year undergraduate education system, students are awarded the Doctor of Stomatological Medicine at graduation. After the five-year undergraduates of Stomatology, the students can pursue Master's degree of OMFS for three years. So five plus three it becomes eight years or get a three-year residency training general oral medicine at a general or stomatological hospital which contain a department of OMFS. The oral and maxillofacial surgeons with a master's degree may continue into a PhD program for three years, five plus three plus three, that is 11 years, which is mainly focused on scientific research. Therefore, an oral and maxillofacial surgeon in general have graduated with a bachelor from five year program, masters from seven year for a bachelor and master's degree in succession, or the eight year program. A doctorate from the eight year program for bachelor's, master's, doctorate degree in succession, or the 11 year program. If you like my content, hit the like button, give your comments below, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, to never miss a video.